Hello everyone, so this video is not gonna be like the usual, uh, we are not gonna be talking about something related to Familiar Arena, however I think it's very timely because tomorrow, I mean if you have uh, logged in since the beginning of the uh, event, uh, tomorrow you can now acquire this one, this is the rare 4 star equipment selection chest. And with that, you will be able to choose one of these uh, rare familiar equipment. And that's why we are doing this video in particular. But before that, a couple of things that I'd like to mention. Uh, we actually have a contest. Uh, and I am giving away 5 NKA. But since nobody sent in their winning screenshots, uh, then I guess we don't have a winner. Such a waste. Uh, I, I think maybe they forgot. Maybe I should do a little bit better and, you know, remind them, but uh, it is what it is. By the way, this is something that I mentioned in the live stream. So for those who are just watching the videos and not doing the live stream, uh, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. So I made people take a screenshot of their ranking and then after a week's time, uh, during the reset, when it shows you what rank you are in, take a screenshot of that and whoever gets the highest jump, from where they were uh, from the last week, they will get 5 NKA from me. But again, nobody sent in their screenshots, so I guess nobody wins. Uh, but don't worry, uh, we will do this again. I will make a formal announcement after the season ends, or like before the season ends, because I would like to take, uh, because I would like for you guys, because I would like for you guys to take a screenshot of your uh, your placing uh, when the season ends, and then. We will be basing our, you know, our rankings on that one. But yeah, so that's something that we're going to do in the future. So just watch out for that. And next, uh, for those people who are still needing help in the familiar arena, please direct your questions on the YouTube channel, right? So when you see one of my videos, uh, just enter your comments there or like your questions and I will answer you there as well because I always look at my YouTube channel. Uh, with my discord not really uh, I only use it when we're doing the live stream right so if you have questions urgent questions please use the comment section because you know that's the easiest way to uh, get in touch with me kind of um, again I have no discord on my phone so that's why it's easier to access uh, YouTube all right now for some shout outs uh, we will start with aqua Pisces there are people there who are also watching right that is my main server like at least for my main account this particular account our site and some people there greeted me so I will shout them out uh, shout out to Shane Zesty and Kenny and now for the server of my Ignitious account I'm not really sure what server that is uh, it's hard to keep track with all these accounts but uh, yeah, I would like to shout out the Kingdom of Chuplets. Uh, earlier today, uh, during the field boss, they're the ones who carried me. Uh, they invited me to their party, and I really appreciated that. So shout out to you, uh, Chuplets, for uh, you know giving me really good rewards from the field boss because my Ignitious character is not really that strong. All right, so there we go. All right, now to the topic at the hand. Which of these should you choose? Now, I understand that this question is only asked by free-to-play players or low-budget players. Because if you're a whale, you probably don't understand why we're so excited with this. But if you are a free-to-play or low-budget, uh, you know, this is a big deal. And to some of us, uh, this is probably the first chance to get a rare four-star. And so for a lot of us, this is a huge decision, right? And so I decided to talk about this one, even though, you know, it's out of the ordinary. But just like the uh, four-star rare familiar chest that we talked about before, uh, we are going to use the process of elimination. All right, so these are the selections, all right? And these are all rares. First thing that I will remove are the helmets because uh, the saintly circlet is actually really good already. Uh, these two are actually kind of niche uh, just to show you what they can do so that you have an idea if you don't know yet you can actually check that one out uh, by going here so uh, summons and then equipment and then check out the summon rates and then here you will see uh, the stats or what it actually does so immortal helmet stun knockdown subdue resist rate plus 15 percent Again, I said this is very niche because mostly this is only used for lava 
uh, valley uh, because with lava valley when you get stunned or knocked down you're opening up yourself to a combo that will last until you die right so this one is very important when it comes to lava valley but other than that uh, if you're like especially if you're someone who is not really focused on lava valley uh, this is something that you should pass on overlord helmet is kind of the same thing uh, because we all know like we've seen videos of how powerful Tarakona is in the lava valley it can actually one hit a lot of whales even right uh, we're talking about the Tarakona of super whales right so having this one damage from familiars minus 15 percent could be a huge deal but in my opinion the saintly circlet really is the way to go because it's defense plus 10 percent it will actually increase your cp more than any of these two the rare ones and if you increase your defense technically you also reduce the damage that you get from familiars okay and so i would recommend like saintly circlet is not even rare so i would recommend that you pass on the helmets next i will eliminate the basic element weapons so the calamity uh tidal and infinity bow or like infinity sword whatever so uh because they're only good to counter element a field boss okay or uh, if you're doing kingdom defense but for kingdom defense basically you're only gonna use it once every month because you know every week the uh the, the elements change and so if you want to counter element a certain boss uh it will only happen if you can only get one of these three okay uh, it can only happen once a month basically uh if anything uh, i would recommend either this one if you want to get one of these three uh, i would recommend the calamity bow because at least in kingdom defense you can use this on the uh, the swamp and also the tidal because with this one you can use it uh with the fire uh kingdom dungeon boss all right so uh these two has more value compared to this one as of the moment because uh we don't have the for the kingdom defense or like the kingdom dungeon we don't have a water type yet but uh when we have that one then uh infinity bow would be much more uh useful and by the way with this one as well uh since ardor is already out uh we will have other world bosses soon but uh for now tidal bow has the most value i guess of the three but in general i wouldn't choose any of the three now we go for the armors now celestial armor is actually really good uh it's not the best option but if you choose celestial armor i wouldn't blame you uh this has like it gives you extra hp so plus 10 percent hp I, uh, this one so i have a celestial armor it gives you plus 10 percent hp so now the black knight armor um it's niche uh, it's only good for lava valley or uh, pvp okay this is crowd control duration reduction so uh, you reduce it by 20 percent and in my opinion uh uh, it's not like it's not sufficient to you know make a lot of difference in the uh, in the lava valley however uh, if you combine it with this one with quick overcome so basically it decreases the duration of stun knockdown and subdue by 20 percent so basically you decrease the duration of stun knockdown and subdue by 40 percent right if you have the black knight armor so that's almost half the duration of stuns and knockdowns now that could be a big deal because uh it could allow you to roll out of a stun lock combo in the lava valley uh not a hundred percent but there's a good chance that you could so if you're focusing on lava valley and you have quick overcome or you're planning to combine it with quick overcome then the black knight armor would be a good selection now for the shoes uh, it's pretty much the same thing flash shoes is good for pvp type contents uh like lava valley uh relic war uh, especially in the relic war because you know uh, it it requires you to go around a lot dragon slayer boots i wouldn't recommend you choosing this one because even though it's good that you're able to evade skills uh, it's only at 7.5 percent so that's really really rare but pretty much the same predicament as all the others so i wouldn't dwell on this too much okay now we go for the two that people are actually thinking of using uh we have chrono's bow and uh milky way bow 
So Kronos, which is attack speed, and Milky Way Bow, which is for crit rate. Just in general, comparing the two, Kronos and Milky Way, I think Kronos would be much better because uh, just going by the percentages. So even though it's attack speed, uh, you are basically getting increased critical rate anyway uh, because um, you are getting more hits. So basically, by increasing your hits per second, you are increasing your critical hit rate uh, per second. So that's why between the two, I am going to go with Kronos. Now, I made some experiments. All right, so for this experiment, we are going to go with the most likely scenario for all of us, which we will be using a weapon, a uh, counter element to what we are attacking, right? And then the sub weapons, uh, we will replace one of them with Kronos bow, right? And most likely we will replace the one that is weakest, okay? Uh, in my case, the water weapon, uh, the four star non rare is the weakest, so I am going to replace that one with a Chronos bow. Okay, and then we will check how much damage we can do. All right, and then so we are going to go with the counter element. All right, and this is this is most likely the case when we're doing field boss and all that. So that's why I decided to do do this kind of experiment, and we will end up with. 7.3 uh, uh, damage, total damage, 7.3 million. And now we are going to replace our Kronos bow, which in theory, what we'll have in the future, with a water weapon. All right, and we will end up with 7.6 million, right? So a little higher compared to just a Kronos bow. A few things to note here, uh, our Kronos bow doesn't have any gems while uh, while Champion's bow has, right? So, you know, that is kind of a disadvantage to uh, Kronos bow. And then another thing, um, our kit here, we have two uh, special skills that doesn't do any damage. So I have Showtime and I have Blazing Heart. Right, so we only have Solar Flare as the only special skill that does damage. And you know the water uh, weapon, basically it increases the special skill damage. So in that case, uh, water weapon is working at a disadvantage, at least in our test. All that being said, even though Kronos Bow doesn't have any awakening, uh, the damage output is pretty close to what the, uh, like, if you ch exchange it with a water weapon that is at Awakened 8, right? And so I think it is a very good option if you don't have it. However, if you want the best potential damage output, and this is actually my selection, and that's why I didn't mention it until the end, we are going with one of the gloves, and that gloves is the Master Gloves, all right? Uh, this is often overlooked. Um, because it says skill damage and it's not pretty clear which one is it. Is it basic skill? Is it uh, special skill? Uh, and since it's not specified, it means all of the skill damages are increased. So meaning basic damage is in, uh, basic skill damage is increased, special skill damage is increased. And also, uh, often people overlook this, this skill. So each class has an SS, right, somewhat. So this, so for the rogue, it's the Ancient Arrow. It is also a skill. So it says here, skill de description. So it means it's a skill. It has a skill effect. Again, it means it's a skill, right? So even this will be increased with Master Gloves, as long as your HP is above 80%. So there's a little bit of caveat there. So you have to take that into consideration, I guess. So if your HP is always below uh, 80%, right? And then maybe this is not a good option. But if you want the best potential for DPS, Master Gloves is the way to go. And this is actually my number one selection of all the uh, choices from the rare, right? And then I can show you that it actually increases. I am not shitting you. So with the first use of Ancient Arrow, I am going to use like my stronger gloves uh, in theory, and we will see how much damage we can do. So I'm going to 
go over here. Then I'll use my ancient arrow. All right, so this is how much damage we were able to do. 592,000. And then for your others, 595,000. But uh, that range, 592,000. Now we will go with Master Gloves, which is weaker in terms of CP, but let's see how much damage we can do. We'll use it. Same position. All right, so we were able to do 639,000. So earlier we were at 592, yeah, or 595,000. So this is just to show that Master Gloves actually affects the super skill as well. Uh, special skill, also the same. Here we're using the non-rare gloves. I will use the uh, solar flare and let's see how much damage I will make. So 264,000, right? So that's 264,000. And now we'll replace it with master gloves. So earlier we were able to do 260K. Now with this one, we are going to do 280K, right? So there you go. Uh, it just shows that Master Gloves, in terms of damage output, will give you the best potential out of all the choices. All right, so just a recap. A lot of the choices here are very niche, right? Uh, the Milky Way bow and Kronos bow, uh, these two are hotly debated which one to go for. In my opinion, Kronos is the best, and I showed you uh, really how much it can do. And like, you know, I don't have the Milky Way bow, but really, in theory, uh, Kronos bow will do the same effect as Milky Way bow uh, plus more, right? And then if you want to go for the best damage output out there, even outclassing Kronos bow, in my opinion, you should go for Master Gloves. But with a caveat that you have to keep your HP above 80%. If you cannot do that or currently it's not possible for you to do that consistently, then uh, go for the uh, Kronos. So in my opinion, Master Gloves in terms of overall value is the best. It's close second, Kronos Bow. Third place, we could go with Celestial Armor, but that's about it. All the others are kind of niche. That's all I have for you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And good luck tomorrow. Uh, I hope I help you solidify your decision tomorrow when you acquire your rare four-star equipment selection chest. All right. I will see you on the next one.